In today's episode, we will be doing an extreme makeover of our half bathroom. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, watch the full video until the end, and we hope you enjoy. What's up guys, welcome back to our channel, Hartley Handy Harris's. Today, what we are working on is our half bathroom. Yes, so on the agenda for today, we are gonna be transforming our wood paneling to a, <laughs> to a drywall look. We're gonna be laying down some pill and stick flooring. We're gonna be painting the back of the toilet area. We're gonna be doing the cabinet area. We're gonna be painting like an epoxy look for the bathroom countertop for everything else for the wall, the color to the polar bear white without further ado. Oh, yep, whatever. Without yep. further ado, yep. let us begin. This was recommended that we use something more durable and all that jazz, so all purpose joint compound. A six inch and a five inch putty knife. Here we go. All right, so we're just gonna put. Mm, about to fall. see we have completed the first step of the using the uh, using the joint compound yes and so probably gonna have to go over it again we will gonna let this dry out for a little bit once we get our um, sand uh, sanding pole and, and get the carrying on yeah it'll be fine so maybe this will be a 48 hour project We're going to be sanding the second coat of the joint compound, mm -hmm. which we have. I have to acknowledge it was my idea to fill in ever so thickly the creases, and it was a horrible idea. With that being said, we got another hyper tough, and we're going to use this electric sander instead of the sanding pole because huh. we'll be all day. Oh yeah, it's, it's, it's gonna be another three weeks of sanding. I don't even know if y'all can see me. That sander saved the whole project. So we gonna wipe these down and then we gonna get the primer. To start painting, we have our paint tray, our liner, our rolling app, roller cage, tape, an extension pole, paintbrush, a primer. All right, we're making progress. We are priming the walls. I'm definitely gonna put another that mirror there. Y'all know how in the in the comment section how to hang a wall without putting back those little. Uh, squares with the nails. Hang on, what? A mirror. What I said, hang on. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Oh, you want to go ahead and start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to watch it. Painting YouTube. Oh, yeah. So now you, now you know how to do it. <laughs> Certified DIY. Look at that dry roller. Mm. Alright, well let's see. Mm hmm straight line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's stick again. Mm -hmm. Stick. Deep. <laughs> Why you gotta be the one to pull it out? Mm. Why did they even do that? Let the camera hit 
this thing is seen. Yo, I feel great out here. Right. It was. Huh? <laughs> Let the people see. <laughs> oh, thank you, God, for covering me. Ah, could have went another way. Just in case I decide not to put the cabinet, I went ahead and filled in those two holes, literally right there. So we're gonna clean this wall, and then we're going to prime it and paint it. All right, we're gonna try to. Use this baby nap. It's almost like an emerald green. But let's go ahead and get started. This requires profession. What? This is what? It's <laughs> hey, no professional. This green looks so good. I know it's like I'm sitting on the toilet. But I am. Let me know what y'all think about this color so far. Like. This is all we got for cabinet space. I know. So I'm gonna use a sheet of this. Kills two. Dark Everglade. That's gonna look good on that. What y'all think? But yeah, between the hardware and those three cups, was um interesting trying to remove for the first time in what 50 years i'm gonna start out here so take my little and just slightly i think this was stained so let me go this way If you know us personally, you know that how we are on camera is how we really are. But this is just us. Every day, hard working, nine to five, cool folk. Loving God and loving life. Super can prime these, uh... Oh yeah. Beautiful. That's looking good. You already started here. Using a foam roller, of course. That whole fan, 1977 fan action, is just taking us out. And if we can't figure out how to work that spread, it's going back to Amazon. So today, we will be reviewing, what is that, Buena? This is Buen Brain Yo. HVLP paint sprayer TPX01. Let me get closer. Mm. Oh, so this is the cabinet that I started to prime ever so loosely. So because of these streaks, I was like, I need to invest in the sprayer because a dark green is not gonna look good with all these streaks. So I'm gonna fill this with water. Is it coming out? Yeah. Somehow you're supposed to know how much water to put in here um, so you can thin the paint. Oh, I think it's saying pour it the is. paint into here, right. into the cup. And then dip this in here and fill this up with the paint that's in the cup and count how long it takes for it to run through the hole. All right, so I'm putting on a 1.2 nozzle. So now we're gonna try to do a test. Mm. We'll be back. After an epic fail yesterday, we're gonna try again. We're gonna fill up the entire canister once we get the viscosity correct. And then hopefully that will resolve the issue. So we're just gonna start adding water. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much? I don't know. I think I'm gonna need some more water. You think so? Hey, you don't need more water. <laughs> I told you. 
do we need more water? Still a little splotchy. So let's see if we can turn this nozzle. Well, let's turn this one. The. These good old laminate bathroom sink countertops. So we're gonna sand and scuff up the area so that the primer will adhere. For the primer, we're gonna use specifically a stain blocking primer. This is the product here. This is the paint that we're gonna be using. These foam rollers. We're gonna lock in everything and seal it with a polyurethane water-based Satin finish. Let's see if it does anything. Ooh. Oh yeah. I need to do something. You wanna get you one? Alright, so we finished sanding. We wiped it off the debris, dust particles. So now we're just gonna start taping the sink around and then we will start priming and then paint foam roller activate just the right thing okay okay here we go here we go One coat, probably have to do a total of three. This is officially two coats of the primer. Did y'all listen to Tevin Campbell back in the uh, in the nineties? Let me tell you, that can we talk? Everybody jam. Hey, did you listen to Tuffin Campbell? I mean, if it came on the radio. Oh, you ain't had a cassette? Mm -mm. Yo, I had the single. Uh, the cassette single. Cassette. <laughs> it is was a cassette. The single. Um. Uh, SWV isn't SWV? I guess so weak. I get so weak in the knees. I can hardly speak. Mm -hmm. That ain't escape. Yeah. Yeah. This is step two. Two foam brushes and the polyurethane. The instructions say to stir it, do not shake it. All right, so we're going to do a test area right here. You can barely see that. What is that? All right, so we have a problem already. Y'all see that? I don't get it. Let me switch to a foam roller. This is not, what is that? Oh my God. Bruh. This is a disaster. My Lord. For whatever reason, maybe I had a defective can of polyurethane satin. I don't know, but I was able to exchange it because I went ahead and just decided to invest in this two inch detailed and trim 
brush, which is for oils and stains and polyurethane. need to sand this down to make my shells and then I'm going to stain it and then we're going to get to going. Oh, what's one already on it? <laughs> what a button that. already did this piece. That's what this is. So I'm gonna do this one. Are removing the backing from the square. And we're we not removing no base boards or quarter rounds. It's not this kind of room. All right. One. Seems kind of interesting. 
just what you was telling us before. Mm -hmm. That it might not be exact. Yeah, it might be a little off the edges. What's this? All right, somebody getting it done. Have you ever used peeling stick before? Like countertops, kitchen, bathroom, backsplash? Let me know in the comment section below. explained before so you can align it as much as you can but you see how that is not even it's just the way of life so you might think like oh these are gaps well guess what you can't go no closer than what it is so I got anybody gonna be on their knees in the floor trying to use the bathroom Understand that this is a, I don't know, a DIY solution. It's not a professional floor installment replacement, so this ain't gonna last 30 years. If you want uh, tile and grout, go to the big box stores, but for now, and for most people, this is sufficient. All right, so I didn't turn it over. These measurements, mm, these measurements over to him. Cause uh, it ain't working together for me, okay. for my goods. So basically our floor, each little section that we have to cut to make up for the whole piece that don't fit is a different measurement. So three inches, three and a half, three and then a half plus an inch, whatever that is. That ain't three and three quarters, but. Right. Whew. All right. These cuts have officially taken me out. Like maybe other people had like perfect proportion bathrooms, but they had like a few cuts. We got a lot of cuts and we haven't even gotten to the toilet area yet, which is gonna be all cuts. Circular cuts, oval cuts, rectangular cuts, linear cuts, L-shaped cuts. Hmm, see squares is trying to steal my joy. I'm trying to get to Ross and, and Big Lies. What time is it? All right, guys, 
We are finally at reveal day. Yes, reveal. It has been a long journey and a long process. We have a couple of pointers for you. Yes. Things that we learned along the way. Yeah. Especially if you're not a professional. There's gonna be some things that's gonna come up along the way that's gonna be like, I did not expect this. That happened to us several times. Several. But nonetheless, or nevertheless, nevertheless. whatever word you decide, we got it done and I think it looks great. I do too. I am ready for the reveal. All right, let's go. Mm -hmm. da -da -da -da. All right. This is what we came up with. Yes. This is what God gave us. So as you can see, this used to be the wood wall. It is now the semi-flat wall. <laughs> as you can see, you can see the wall that is currently here. You see the little grooves and whatnot. And let me give a, a live example. This is what was in the bathroom. Because we have real wood paneling, do not Please do not fill it in with spackle, joint compound, try to sand it, use mud, and then prime and paint over it. This is how it would look. So if you have laminate paneling, you can do the spackle, compound, sand it, and it will look like actual drywall. Instead, either put up drywall, but don't do this. However, this is temporary. All right. And so I've decorated, as you can see. And then we change the lights. Oh yes. Give it more of a modern look. Instead of the old white globey type ball, we got some They look good. Ones. Because we don't want to do electrical or plumbing. So I know it's like, dang, they did all that and they didn't spray paint that. We did not, as you can see. So we will get someone else to pull that down. I'll spray paint it, we'll put it back up and we'll do a updated video. All right, now for the cabinets and the faucet. It's turned out great. What do you think, honey? Yeah, that looks good. It's yeah, cool. this was the black. We primed it twice and spray painted it a matte black. That looks outstanding. This is the, what was it, two part? Three part kind of non-epoxy countertops. If you remember what it looked like before, it was like a dark brown and spackle yeah, like looking spackle. thing. All right, so these are the cabinets. I think they look outstanding. Hardware, yes, gold hardware. Um, and then I think we painted the hinges, didn't we? Yeah, spray paint those, yeah, gold, gold. Like and those then now. I don't look at the floors, yes, and the rug, the floor is pretty nice. Yeah, the rug gives a nice contrast, but it came out really good, as you can see. I thought this rug would create like a contrast between the floors. This bathroom is so big for a half bathroom, uh, but nonetheless, I think it turned out extraordinary. We did not do the entire video, as you saw in the part before this, because it got, too much. It got very intense. But you guys got the picture of how you lay them down, how you're supposed to cut them. Toilet area with the accent wall. See, that looks more like the green, even though in person it's definitely darker. Yeah, it's the same color that has yeah. Oh, don't forget to show the uh, matching. Oh, yeah. Tissue holder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. And then I decided to take the tissue holder out and spray paint that black because the silver that matched mm -hmm. that. Yeah, we did do the window. Remember they were brown? Yeah, they were wood. Like Everything the thing was, was wood. Out there? And even the vent was wood. Oh, yeah. That was wood, too. Oh, and then the little planks. Planks oh, yeah. came from Home Depot. Stand those, and then I had these that were left over from the previous owners, and I spray painted those in matte black. This took, what, three months? But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed th this entire extreme makeover video. Please give us a like and show us some love. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, share with anyone that you think may enjoy the content and or us and our entertainment throughout this regularly scheduled program. And if you visit us, come use the bathroom. <laughs> All right, till then we see you in the next video. Peace. Yeah.